Hi everyone, Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Via. Last year we saw a huge insurgence of the barbershop trend coming into our salons. We saw a lot of these really tight fades and really clean skin edges. What we forgot about is we have a whole clientele like Sawyer here that they actually like a little bit of length to their hair. So this year we're really focusing on those early adopters to that barbering, what are they doing now? They're starting to grow their hair out. So we're gonna show you some techniques using the Samvia razor to be able to remove weight and establish a really nice texture to the hair. So first things first, we gotta get some product in the hair. I'm gonna start with the Redken for men. It's the Get Groomed and Finishing Cream. I'm gonna use just about a nickel size of this as a cutting lotion. One of the things that we've found is that when you're using a razor, you want something in the hair that has a little slip to it. If you go in on hair that has a lot of texture and there's no slip to it, that's when you end up really roughing up the cuticle. When you get out a razor, sometimes you're gonna have this reaction from your client of, oh my gosh, get away from me with that razor. And most times it's because they've had a bad experience and a lot of times it's because we've roughed up the cuticle with the razor. So that get groomed in the hair is really going to help me to get a nice slip with the razor blade. I'm gonna start by taking a center vertical section all the way down to the nape. And I'm just separating the two sides of the head so I have control. From here, I'm gonna start taking diagonal forward sections. And I'm gonna start with our nine gap razor. Now what's really cool about this razor is that we have a cup and then an open space, a cup and an open space. So I can take those diagonal sections and I can come right down in at the base of the hair and put this in and come through. And you'll see what happens is I get a really nice soft finish from that. It's just taking a little bit of hair away. Now what I've done there is I've gone in and I've created some separation right at the base of the hair. And what's valuable about that is it gives this type of hair some swing and movement. There's so much density in there that a lot of times it feels really hard and really solid. So I'll start to get some movement into that. Now, short hair does tend to be stronger than long hair. We know that as a principle of hairdressing. And a lot of people are scared to get those short hairs in right down at the scalp. Now, the thing is, is if I was getting in here and creating tons of short little hairs right at the scalp, then yes, I could create volume with this. But a few short hairs are not stronger than a lot of longer hairs. Now, I wanna show you one other technique. We've started to reduce volume and reduce weight through here, get a little more swing to it, but what if I want more texture through the ends of the hair? That's where this baby comes in really handy. This is the six gap razor. Now we have a lot more space in between those cups where we're gonna take a lot more of the texture away. I'm gonna come back in with those diagonal forward sections. I'm gonna come farther out into the hair strand because if I come in with this razor and go here, I am gonna create some really strong short bits within this shape, which could expand the hair and give me more volume, which I don't want. So we're taking that diagonal forward. I'm gonna come farther out, lay that in, put a little pressure on it, and then come through. Now what you can see is you have a more deliberate texture with that six gap razor. And that will add a lot more visual texture through the, the ends of the hair. So again, you'll use that nine gap razor to start to reduce the bulk and you can get a lot closer down, down into the scalp because you're not creating large pockets of short hair to create a lot of expansion. You're actually reducing weight and getting more swing and dimension to the hair. Then what we would encourage you to do is to try out the six gap razor to come out more into the ends to create that visual texture you want. So as you're 
male clientele transitions from the, the trend of that barbershop look into longer shapes, these are some techniques to really help you reduce the bulk and get a lot more swing from the hair. Really hope this helps you out. I'm Andrew Carruthers for Sam Villa.